So when we're setting up our waxing trolley, let's talk about our heaters. So with the Caron Lab range, we do have a one liter heater, a 500 gram heater, and then also another optional addition to your trolley is your cartridge heater. So basically it's really important to have a high quality heater. This is gonna hold the consistency and temperature of your wax. So again, like I said, one liter or 500 gram, doesn't make a difference. They have a very good thermostat control with your temperature dial on the front so that you can adjust them accordingly. You will notice that when you're setting up our heaters out of the box, they come with two separate skirts. You have your wide skirt, this is your hard waxing setup. So simply put your skirt on, then using your metal bucket and then your wax can go inside. So this is our hard wax and it's the microwave to pot concert which I will talk about a little bit more in a moment. With your strip wax, you have the skirt with the metal bar and you can again put your strip wax directly inside the metal insert and then the skirt goes on top. We have two separate skirts because your hard waxing skirt deliberately has no metal bar. This is another thing that we have to clean. With strip wax we do need to have a metal bar because when we're wiping our spatula we want all the residue to fall back into the heater so it deliberately has the bar on it and do keep in mind that the bar should be facing the front not the back or the side because you will be wiping awkwardly with your hand. Once you've set up your heaters adjust the dial so my recommendation for your hard wax is between three and four on the Coron Lab heater and the strip wax would be between four and five with on the Coron Lab heater. Now you've also got your roll-on system, so this is very easy to use. You sit your cartridge on top. It connects to your metal base, which is magnetic, so it won't move around on your trolley. Flick it right up to five. If you keep the cartridge heater on five, you'll know that your wax is always gonna be at a constant temperature where it just flows out of the cartridge. Handy hint here, if you are ever finding that your cartridge is not flowing correctly, the wax could be too cold, and you need to remember that when you're holding this in your hand, chances are you may knock the temperature dial. So what I do is just always flick it back up to five before I pop it back in the base. Okay, so microwave to pot concept, we'll go into a little bit more detail about this now because we actually have the only microwavable hard waxes on the market. So this is our Bruins hard wax. Now you will see these 800 gram containers, they come in strip and hard wax. So you do need to note down the bottom here if you have picked up hard or strip. What this means is microwavable hard wax. So two to three minutes in your microwave, the wax is then melted down ready to use. As we said, when you're using hard wax, remember the setup. Skirt goes on, metal bucket in, wax sits directly inside your metal insert. So that way, if you're a mobile therapist, for example, you don't have to get to your client 20 minutes ahead of time. You can literally walk in the door, plug the heater in, put the wax in the microwave and it is ready to use. It also means if you're not doing a lot of waxing, you could just get away with having one heater because you could simply take your hard wax out and then as you see over here, we have the strip wax in the different size. So you can get strip waxes in a microwavable version as well. And you would just swap out depending on what you're using. So you could have hard wax in. When you're finished doing hard wax, take it out and pop the strip wax in. So they do come in both the 800 gram sizes and the 400 gram as you can see here. So that depending on which pot you buy, you never have to mess up your metal insert. You can just swap and change your waxes with the 800 gram containers. This also means with our heater, when you take out the full metal bucket and you look inside here, there will never be any wax because it is designed to stay very clean. If you have a heater that is quite old and you lift it up and you smell burnt wax on the inside, that is obviously directly touching your thermostat. So it may not be heating as consistent as it possibly could. So it's really important to keep these clean, to invest in a good heater that will hold a constant temperature and have it set up correctly so that it stays extra clean as well. 
It's also really important to remember to keep your wax pot topped up at all times. So as we just spoke about with the microwave to pot concept, you, can, you have two options. So you either stick with the microwave to pot concept. So for example, this is our unopened container of hard wax. We've been working in the room all day, so the wax is starting to go down. We now need to top up. So we take a new container, we go to the microwave, we melt it down for two to three minutes so it's nice and runny, and then we pour it into the top keeping it full at all times because this will affect your temperature and consistency. The other option is, and this is not an option for a mobile therapist unfortunately, because once you mix your pellets with your microwavable hard wax, this container will no longer be microwavable. So if this is a setup in a salon that's not going mobile, it's a great idea to just set it up with the plastic container inside there, mainly to just keep things nice and clean and then at the end of each treatment, grab a pallet from the back and just pop it in the top to top up your heater. That way, if you're constantly doing that, you won't have to worry about moving this dial around. If you're letting your wax go down low, obviously that means the heater is going to get hotter, you have to turn it down. So if you just keep it full, basically at the start of the day I'll just set it between three and four and I'll just leave it like that because I'm topping up after each client. Now if you're not using our Brilliance Wax, you might be using one of our hard wax melts. So we've made it even easier again if you're using one of these waxes because in the cylinder all you have to do is turn it over, grab one of the melts out and it's an even better size to just top up after each client. So you've got that option there as well.